Good morning, everybody. It is Monday morning, 10.07, and me and mom are on our way to the endocrinologist um, for my appointment, and it is snowing and very cold outside. Um, so yeah, that's where we're going right now. I don't know how it's gonna go. My blood sugar's not been behaving the best the past three months, and um, I think it said my timing range was like 59%. So um, I feel my A1C is gonna be a little bit higher, and um, so yeah, we'll see. But I hope you all enjoy this video. Make sure that you like and subscribe, and uh, we'll catch y'all in a little bit. Okay, so we just got done talking to the nurse and now we are just waiting on the doctor. Um, yeah, nothing super interesting going on because nothing's really happened all that much yet. So, I'll keep y'all updated. If you're worried, if you're hungry and you're sweating and shivering, you know, with yes. loads, but, but that's what- Okay, well, I've been like really bad about vlogging. Sorry, y'all. Um, I got blood drawn. I didn't think that y'all would be interested in seeing that. Some people are like terrified of blood. Um, so I didn't film that for you guys. But I got my blood drawn and then the dietitian came in and we talked for a little while. And um, for those of you who don't follow me on Instagram, um, we're going on an Alaskan cruise in May. And um, I'm super, super excited about that. I'm gonna be sharing more details about that later. Um, it's not until May and so, still have a little while um, till that. But we were asking a lot of questions because we're flying to Washington, to Seattle, Washington for um, the cruise. And we said like, leave from Seattle, Washington. Um, so we were asking like, do we need to change the time on my pump for while we're there? Or should we keep the time and try to eat according to what we would be eating here normally, like when? But you know, if we get up at eight on the cruise ship and eat at like 8.30 or nine, that's technically lunchtime here because it's a three hour time difference. So um, they're going to get a diabetes educator and we're gonna talk to her about that. Um, so it's just kind of difficult. We're gonna get a doctor's note for flying for um, through security. Um, like every diabetic channel that you watch of people who have flown, um, anywhere that you're going, you should get a doctor's note is what they say. And I've never done that before because we don't fly that often. Um, so I'm getting one this time to have. And um, so hopefully that will help. So yeah, we're just going to try to talk to the educator a lot about, you know, what to do on cruise. Because yesterday I even YouTubed like being on a cruise with type 1 diabetes, what to pack, you know, things like that. And I didn't find any videos of any diabetics going on cruises. So um, I guess I'll be the guinea pig for y'all and I'll test it out, I guess. So, um, but yeah, so we don't know like what to do. We're kind of flying in the dark here, you know, this is what it feels like. Um, but yeah, so we'll see what happens when the educator comes in and I'll kind of update y'all in a little bit. So we just got an accommodation letter for my um, college um, so that I can, and it says, you know, uh, Cassandra may be required some accommodations during testing and in class in view of her diabetes. Please allow her to check blood sugar before, during any major test and as needed if symptomatic. And it says, you know, she'll need to either drink carbohydrates if she has low blood glucose, she will need access to the bathroom when having high blood sugars. Um, and she may need to take a uh, stop the clock breaks during tests to treat high or low blood sugars. So um, that is just a written thing from my doctor that I can give um, to the college so that I can get those accommodations 
um, because we did have a little bit of trouble when I was taking a test um, at home because I was doing online college class and I went low during my final. And so we just needed one of these for in person so that, you know, we could have those accommodations. And I would definitely, definitely recommend getting one of these from your doctor um, if you are in school or going to school or something like that. Just get one of these from your doctor because people need to understand that you do need um, to take care of yourself first. And, um, you know, you can take care of the schooling after you get come up or come down from blood sugar. So, yeah, definitely ask your doctor about those if you have not already. Okay, so we are done at the doctor. Uh, my A1C was 7.2, which is 0.4% higher than it was three months ago. So definitely not amazing and definitely gonna be working on getting that down. Um, the biggest thing we talked about is pre-bolusing in the mornings for my coffee because I always forget to bolus for my coffee and end up bolusing after the fact. So, definitely gonna work on that this month. Um, how do you think it went, Mom? Um, yeah, we were a little disappointed about the 7.2. The doctor seemed okay with it because yeah. they want the A1C under 7.5. So it's still a good amount under what they want, but they know that I really like to be under seven. So, um, you know, they're definitely encouraging me to get it even better. So, um, Definitely gonna work on that. We also talked a lot about flying with diabetes and going on a cruise with diabetes. And I guess that's not super common because they didn't really, they had to look up information um, for going on a cruise with diabetes. But she found a blog that I'm gonna be looking up, um, a diabetic that travels a lot. And um, so I'll look that up and try to see if that's a good resource um, that I can share with y'all. Um, she gave me a, uh, wow, sorry guys. <laughs> she gave me a, um, flying note, a letter to keep when I'm, uh, flying for all my medical supplies and also something that says that we need a refrigerator in our room. And that is something that, uh, mom is going to try to call Carnival today to work that out because they actually don't have refrigerators in the room and we need a refrigerator for my insulin and the lady on the phone on saturday was like oh well you can you know give it to the maitre d and they'll keep it in the galley for you insulin is like 300 dollars, 350 dollars a vial and i'll probably be bringing like two or three vials we're not gonna like go put that in the galley for anybody to take you know so um we definitely want to keep it with us that's not something that you just want to let go wherever it goes you know so we're gonna work on that but I also need um, to be able to get like juice and milk on board and so we're just gonna try to work all those details out um, and there it's a little bit more like finding details out than I thought it was gonna be for cruises you know I didn't realize it was gonna be kind of that difficult um, but those just the joys of having type 1 diabetes so it's just extra things that you got to look into um, but it'll be helpful for y'all so that you know if you ever go on a cruise. So yeah, that is what all we got. We got a lot of information to read. So yeah, that'll be very helpful. So I think I'm gonna end this vlog because of got the A1C we're and go we're gonna go eat. Yes, and then we have to go to the college to um, give them that letter um, that we got for test and stuff like that. So. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Make sure you like and subscribe. I go to the orthodontist next week. When y'all see this, I'll be at the orthodontist like that this day. Um, so next week's vlog will be um, an updated orthodontist vlog and we'll ask Taylor how my teeth are doing. And um, they say that I'm pretty on track right now for being eight months in. So. Um, I hope y'all will tune into that vlog. So for this one, make sure you like this video, comment down below, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Love y'all, and I'll see you next week.